Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the Derpest, Dankest, Darkest Dungeon Estate, where we have a mission to do. We're going to go to the cove. We're going to do a veteran mission, which is going to be tough because we're taking some lower level characters. We're taking two level threes and two level twos. We're going to bring a Houndmaster for protection. We're going to bring a Vestal for heals. Plague Doctor for Blights, Stuns, and Cures. And a Hellion for just straight-up damage. Fantastic. She's a Stress Eater, though, so I might want to bring a little bit of extra food just in case. And no one else has more food. No, no, no one else has more food desires. So we should be good to go. Uh, I did pay a little bit of extra cash here. About 13 grand, I guess. Wow. Upgrading these characters and getting them ready to go. Specifically on the Plague Doctor, we picked up the Cure and Leeches. Just really good camping skills. Uh, and on the Houndmaster, we picked up Guard Dog. Oh, and on the Hellion, we picked up Yop. Yop. All right, two biscuits. Let's bring some shovels. I'm going to take a full stack of shovels just in case we have some barnacle encrusted uh, chests to open up. And then just take one key. Last time that we didn't even use the keys that we brought, did not even use them. Take uh, 16 food, should be fine. Eight torches should be fine. Uh, a couple holy waters. Do I need two anti-venoms? I don't think so. I do want to bring two herbs, though, because there's carcasses that can possibly give us some food, which would really help out. And I guess I'll bring a bandage just in case something needs a bandage. But I know, 150 bucks down the drain if we don't use it. Whatever. Uh, make sure everyone's equipped. You're not equipped. Okay. Okay, we have some equipment going. We have some heal trinkets going on here. We have a, a Blight Trinket on the Plague Doctor. We're not using his knife, so this is not going to be useful. Uh, max hit points. More crit if the torch is low. Interesting. Let's see. She's got the Legendary Bracer for damage. Just give her some more accuracy. He's got a Stun Trinket and Heals Received Trinket. Just Blights. Well, let's go for Blight and Stun. Sure. All right, I think we're golden. Let's do this. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> this is the first time I've gone into a level three in this campaign, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's see how it goes. Level threes are very different than level ones. The enemies have a lot more hit points. They do a lot more damage. They have a lot more resistances to your blights, bleeds, stuns, things like that. So they're just generally harder. And the cove is a really hard place to go, even for level one missions. So going here for a level three is going to be tough. We may evacuate. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. We may evacuate. Oh, wow. We can get rid of some bad quirk already. Uh, those don't really bother me too much. Fear of beasts. The Houndmaster is a fear of has a fear of beasts. What the hell? Tipler, tuckered out. I might want to get rid of Tipler. Claustrophobia. Flagellant. Thin blooded. I don't even know what claustrophobia does. Now let's let's try to get rid of Tipler, because only drinking at town. I mean, yeah. It, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, I don't know. It's not really a bad one to have locked in. Maybe I'll just leave that there. Because I have upgraded the, the bar a little bit. What do we get rid of? That negative 10 death blow resist bothers me. Really bothers me. Hmm. These aren't even that bad. All right, let's try to get rid of the death blow resist because that's that's just terrible. All right, uh, Archimedes the Owl, go for it. Good luck. Yes, you did it. Death blow resist gone. Beautiful. Good start. Bad bad second start, but you dodged it. All right, good. What do we got? Scouting. Ooh, double scouting. Treasure room. Ooh, it's a box. What's in the box? Heirlooms. 
And there's a trap up ahead. Okay, who's got the best trap here? 90%. And you need stress reduction. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, Belladonk. And we know there's no fight in here, so I'm not even going to bother with a torch. Another trap right here. Good job. But there is a fight coming up here, so why don't we go ahead and uh, double torch. And let's see what we get. Oh, goody. And they did not get surprised. Okay, first things first, we should probably stun the two at the back. Either stun or um, poison. What's more important, stun or poison? You know, probably the stun. Give us a bit of an advantage in this in this fight. Uh, we could also stun this guy, and I think I will. Let me stun him. If we stun him, then we can just kill this fish dude. All right. Seaward slash. Nice dodge. All right. Kill this guy. Almost. You're very close. Very close. I said kill this guy. There you go. One down. Destroy them all. And a crit heal. Uh-oh. Spearfishing. Don't move me. Don't move me. You moved me, you bastard. <laughs> so I can't use my blackjack here. I can't stun anybody from the third position. Uh, can you use your abilities from the third position? No. Uh, well, yeah, you can use that. Um, it's the only thing you can do from the third from the second position. All right, so you should probably just switch, to be honest. There you go. What a wasted turn. It's almost like stunning us. All right, stun him again. Stun him again. Yes. Stun Trinket doing work. And I could heal up here, but he's only down... I guess it is nine hit points. Um, all right. Perfect. All right, now we could yawp him to just stun him again, but I think it makes more sense to start doing some damage. Uh, the question is, do I damage this guy in front, or do I try to kill the guy in the back? I think we try to kill the guy in the back. He's almost dead. Oh. Guard! Okay. Barnacle Barrier. Sure. Sure. Barnacle Barrier. Gives him 25 protection. Look at that. He's got 75 protection. 75 protection. Screw this guy. Blight him. Good. Uh, Blackjack would probably work. And that would also cancel his protection of this guy. Cool. Cool. Go for a judgment on you. And I'd have breakthrough, but that's not what I want to use here. I guess we'll just start hitting this guy. Oh, three damage. So bad. Oh. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay. Could go for a stun here. Hmm, 70% stun resist, but what, what's our stun? We have 144 base, we have 184 stun. So we have a, pretty much 100% on both. I guess we stun this guy. That's just an amazing stun. And blight him. Don't pull me. Why'd you pull me? Why'd you have to pull me? You, you jerk. This guy's a jerk. This guy's a pelagic bulwark. This guy's a pelagic wide mouth. <laughs> These names, though. Alright. Um, I could heal myself. Let's heal myself by hitting this guy in the face. There you go. Now he's dead to blight. <laughs> Feels good, man. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. And you're dead to blight as well. Oh no, he's not. He's only taking ten per turn. 
Okay, well, we could try to stun him. No, he's got 80% stun resist. All right, just attack him. <laughs> now he's dead to Blight. Um, go for a crit. Maybe we get um, some nice stress reduction. No crit. All right. Excellent. The slow death. Unforeseen. What's in the box? Unforgiving. What's in the box? Nothing amazing. All right. Get back there. Uh oh. It's a level 3 collector. He's got 102 hit points. And look at that. 70% stun resist. Alright, I am a little bit terrified right now. I did not expect to find a collector on our first level 3 dungeon. Uh, first things first, let's up the torch. And let's um, blight him. Good. Uh oh, collect call time. Let's see what we get. One of each. The dangerous one is this first one here. So we should probably stun him outright. Maybe we should stun the guard guy so he can't protect him. Yeah, stun the guard guy and we'll try to kill this guy as fast as possible. All right, kill him. God, they have 23 hit points. Could try for a stun here. I think it's worth a shot. Maybe. No dice. Okay. Here comes the pain. Oh, stun him. Um, let's see. The blight would be five damage per turn. That's not bad, but I think it makes more sense to blight the rear two. I need to get the collector down. As much as I hate this highwayman, I need to kill the collector. Lifesteal is going to hurt. And it bleeds. Six bleed as well. All right, here comes Headhunt. This is painful. Oh, we dodged it. Gosh. Woo. Dodging Headhunt feels good, man. Feels good, man. Here, kill this guy. Not quite. Hmm. Really don't care about that dot. He can take it off himself. No, he really shouldn't. He really should keep attacking. Hmm. I could go for a stun here. No, just go for the kill. This Very nice. Give them no quarter. Very nice. The Howman is really the only dangerous minion. All the rest are crap. It's a Howman. All right, keep play grain it. Keep plague grenading, and I might as well use a um, bandage here. Well, nah, it's very little damage. Uh, just keep plague grenading. A decisive pummeling. Ten damage per turn. Yeah, heal the wrong guy. Good job. Smart Vestal. Uh, Yop is probably important here. Don't let that highwayman keep attacking. He's fucking dangerous. Um, do I want to stun the guard guy, or maybe I should just start killing people? I'm going to guard the plague guy. I don't want him to die. Hmm, stun? No, he's got huge stun resistance. Alright, let's just start attacking. Damage! More damage. You're going to guard him? Head games, yep. Alright, so I can't attack the Collector unless I stun this guy. But he still has... No, he has no stun right now. Perfect. Okay, can I hit you? Only with Breakthrough. That's kind of crap. So perhaps I should go for... The... I'm going to start killing the Highwayman here. He's got to go. Too much damage. Play Grenade! Or maybe we should stun. Yeah, I think stunning's better here. Because that'll break his ability to block this guy. Yep. Perfect. Uh, just keep protecting him. Good. 
Gotta kill the highwayman, gotta kill the collector. Um, yeah. Alright, so this is almost dead. No turn for you, highwayman. You're too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Take zero! Thanks for subbing, man. Welcome abroad. Hold on. One second. There you go. Alright, um, I think I want to stun Mr. Protection Dude. I don't want him to protect the Collector, no matter what. Not allowed. Play Grenade. And kill this guy. Perfect. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, his chance to be stunned is very, very low right now. So I think it makes more sense to heal up. Okay. Sure, heal the wrong guy. Very smart Vestal. Just don't heal the Collector and I'm happy. Yeah, he's... Now you're buffing the wrong guy. Perfect. Ah. A little stress never hurt nobody. It's not true. <laughs> uh, stun the collector? Mm. Yeah, that way he can't do a collect call or anything. And besides, we have amazeball stuns. Could do breakthrough, could do yop. If we do Yop, we get all the turns to ourselves. Oh, he resisted. Oh, balls. Play Grenade. 15 damage per turn. Yeah, that guy's fucking dead. Twenty damage per turn. <laughs> nice. So he's dead next turn if he doesn't get healed. Alright, that could be a problem. Hmm. I think I'm going to stun the healer, that way he's guaranteed dead. Stun the healer. And smack you... No, that doesn't work. Stun him. Why didn't I just stun... Oh, I can't stun him, can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, I should have done that instead. I should have... Whatever, I'm stupid. So he's dead. Collector's dead. We did it. We fucking did it. Good job, team. Uh, now we can just either heal up or kill... Let's just kill these guys. She's got to go first. I'm a little worried about our stress levels right now, but what are you going to do? Don't let him protect her. Yeah, she's dead. Bye, Collector. I wonder if you're going to give me Junia's head finally. I want Junia's head. Give me Junia's head, please. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. This guy can't do anything by himself. All he can do is guard. That's all he does. So he's going to pass his turn. Um, I don't know, just heal up. Whatever. That works. Um, smack him. Cool. There you go. We'll try to get some crits to get some stress down. Um, in fact, I wish I had Cry Havoc right now, but I don't. Um, I do have it enabled, but we'd have to switch it out between battles. You can't switch them during battles, so I guess for now, just try for a crit. Hope for the best. No crit. No crit. Well, darn. Alright, crit, last chance. No crit. It's alright. Hey! Hey! 
Puzzling Trapehedron. I'll take it. That's 2,500 gold we didn't have beforehand. And there's a box. What's in the box? What's in the room? Treasure? Nothing. Okay. Well, now we have to backtrack. And this is what sucks about um, dungeons that have this kind of layout. It's a medium dungeon, so we get to camp once. We'll camp probably right there. Um, is you have to backtrack no matter which way you go. The goal is 90% of the rooms, and the only way to do that is to go one way all the way and then turn around and go all the way backtrack. So we're going to be taking stress the entire way back. And there's probably going to be some fights that we encounter on the way back, too. Because uh, random fights will spawn in these corridors on the way back. Now, good news is we don't have to waste too much torch on the way back. When you're backtracking, the torch goes very slowly down. The beard migrated south for the winter? I'm not sure it works that way, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the torch up for now. How many torches do we have? Three. Alright, it's the last torch I'm gonna use for now, before we camp. Hunger! Alright, well, we still have food. Oh, she just did a stress eat. Oh, she's three over 50, so she actually ate extra food. That sucks. All right, let's see if we can get rid of some of her stress here. Oh, she failed. <laughs> Ambushed by foul invention. <laughs> Man, that was a really high chance to succeed and she failed anyway. Negative 20 dodge for 12 rounds. Wow. I've only got one herb on me, and I don't want to waste it there. I think we'll get rid of that when we camp. Hey, we got to break this open with a shovel. Whoa, pow! It's a key. Um, what do we want to use the key on? I guess we can eat a food. There you go. Scouting, sweet. Secret room? Oh, no secret room. All right, well, there's no room battle over here. Let's check out the curio. And then we'll come back, check out this curio, and then we'll camp. Actually, we'll probably camp before we check out the curio. Oh my god, hunger again? That's a lot faster than I expected. Oh, it's just a torch. What a waste. Okay, that's a problem. That means we probably cannot camp. We don't have enough food to camp and encounter another hunger event. So, um, no camping for us. Unless we want to camp with minimum resources. Um, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Minimum camp, no stress heal. So, it's three food. Okay. It's a goal without so, hope. if we get her stress low enough, she won't stress eat anymore. Because that's her problem. She's a stress eater. All right. Let's get your stress down, woman. All right, let's use Hound's Watch. And can you do anything to get your own stress down? No, they don't have a disease to get rid of. Yeah, spotted fever, we might as well get rid of that. How much time do we have left? Three. What's this do? Self only reduce stress by 20. All right. It's too bad we couldn't get her stress any lower, but perhaps we can get her stress down with some crits. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Or maybe we'll find some food. If we find a corpse, we can get some food off of it. Some of the curios are like fish corpses. All right, room battle. Let's do it. All right, this is a problem. But these guys cause a lot of stress. So we need to kill these two right away. Uh, first things first, smack them in the ass. That was almost a kill, but not quite. That was a really good attempt. So let's go for a play grenade that guarantees this one's death. Or we could use the dog to guarantee his death. No, no, no. We'll play grenade and we'll stun the third one. That works. 
Works for me. Stun the third one. Don't you dare give me stress, you bastard. Alright, so he's dead to, to the plague. Perfect. Perfect. And now we take damage from these idiots. Just don't hit her. And don't crit. Nice dodge. No. Oh, beautiful. Wow, they're both blind. They're both blind. Oh, they get to take another turn. Shit. Just no stress. <laughs> of course they get to take another turn. What are you, crazy? <laughs> uh, we could protect her, I guess. Let's do that. Allow her to get her stress down with some crits. Nice dodge. Crits, please. That's not a crit. Hmm. This guy's dead if we hit him right. He's dead. All right, your move, Wide Mouth. If that is your real name. God, those sounds they make. Nice dodge. <laughs> We've dodged all their attacks. It's amazing. Alright, crit please. Damn it! Just not getting these crits. Hmm. Seize this momentum. That food is actually really good for us. End. Uh, I think I'll take the deeds instead of the crests. Could also swap it out for the anti-venom, which we haven't really used because nothing here blights us. We haven't used the holy water either. But there is still more dungeon to go. Treasure room. Ooh. All right. Well, if we're going to take a treasure room, I guess I should take... Well, I don't know. These crests aren't that important. Fuck it. Use it. Give me the crests. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh. Shovel time. Money. I like money. Don't forget dog treats. Yeah, I guess we could use them. I do tend to forget dog treats. Everyone does. <laughs> oh, goodness. Stress wave. Okay, good. Okay, you need to move back. Uh, play grenading at this point. No, you got to move back. Just, I hate that stupid spear fishing is annoying. Uh-oh, no crit. Woo, good. Okay, Yop would be nice here. We could stun two of them. I would also love to do a fucking, uh, what's it called? Iron Swan on this idiot in the back and hope for a crit, but I think the Yop is more important here. Lower the incoming damage. Very good. Okay, protect her. And I don't think you need to heal. That's only nine damage. So let's try to stun this idiot. Good luck. Nice. All right, here comes the stress. Oh, what's this? Some type of buff? Yep, more damage for three rounds. Okay, you buffed a guy who was stunned. I'm not sure you're the brightest fish out there. You ain't the brightest fish in the sea. Beautiful. Not bad. Resisted the bleed. All right, let's start doing some damage here. Let's hope for a crit. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Stunning this guy could be nice, so he can't do any, like, barnacle barrier bullshit. I really hate barnacle barrier. Let's go for it. Good luck. No dice. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. I don't think some of these guys makes any sense right now, so let's try to blight. Um, let's blight the big dude. 
Big dude's gotta go. Uh-oh. Nice dodge. Stun him. Damn it. Stupid barnacle barrier. Hate that shit. Now I can't kill this guy. Now I can't kill this guy. There we go. Hmm. Oh, stress wave. No! He's supposed to be dead. That stupid fish. Spearfishing. No, don't pull me. Don't pull me. Good. Woof. All right, just play grenade. Get rid of him. I'm sick of these two guys. They're annoying as balls, man. Annoying as balls. Balls are pretty annoying. Wow, we're not getting any stuns off. You know why? It's because she has this trinket. Lowers her stun chance by 30%. So I might as well just not try to stun with her. It's just really no point. Uh, anyway, let's get some damage in on this guy. Nice! Yes! Finally a crit. Lowers your stress. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Seaward Slash. Dodge. Tell you, man, that protection is amazing. What's your dodge right now, dude? We'll check it out in, in a little bit. What is the Houndmaster's dodge? 55. That's not the best. Could be better. 75 now. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's such an amazing sound they make when they die. Octocestus. Dodged again. Who knew 75 dodge was good? Who knew 75 dodge was good? I didn't know. I've never really tried like a dodge build before. Never, ever, ever. Get a stun in so we can heal up. He's dead to Blight anyway. Alright, good times. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I wish I could open the chest right now with this key and keep this victory window open. I forgot to use the biscuits again. Fuck it, just throw away the biscuits. What's in the box? Okay. I'm never going to remember to use the biscuits. I might as well just chuck them. Humans, what are you doing down here in the cove? Who said you could be here? You silly humans. Stun this idiot. He is an idiot. All right, plague this guy. Kill him? Almost. Fuck, he's at one hit point. Uh, just kill him. Oh no, he's gonna live with one hit point. Mm -mm, not good. Oh, good. He missed. Miss? That's not a miss. Ow. I didn't need the stress. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the stress. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't really think we need to use Battlefield Medicine here, so just get some Plague Grenades going. Plague all the things! And get a crit kill? That's not a crit. It is a kill, though. Um... I don't know. Protect her? 
Nah, attack. Gotta lower his hit points. So he's dead next turn no matter what we do. Yell at him! Oh, he doesn't like it when you yell at him. He really doesn't like it when you yell at him. Goodbye, sir. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. I think the herbs are a little more valuable than the anti-venom right now because the herbs can be used to get extra food. In case we get hungry, we'll need extra food. Um, I don't know if we're going to need the bandages for anything, though. Ah, eh, whatever. We got one torch left. Ooh, scouting. Treasure? Nothing. <gasps> Do I have a key? Tell me I have a key. No, I don't have a key. Okay, we're going to go to all the curios. we got to find a fucking key. Our job is now a key. We need a key. Give me a key. There, there might be a key in here. It's a map. That's not a key. All right, well, scouting's good, I guess. All right, fine. Whatever. Please have a key. Please? Key? Oh, fuck me, dude. That is most assuredly not a key. Okay, like I said, hunger could be a problem. Oh uh, man, I hope we don't get another hunger on the last couple rooms there. We don't have to go to all the rooms, I don't think. We have to do 90% of the rooms, which I think means we need two more. We don't need the last one. All right, that is our last torch. So we did free up a slot, which is cool. Ah, food, 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 food. Yes. Food. Uh, no food. Shit. I thought these things always had food. Hmm, okay. That's a problem. I kind of expected there to be food. Do we have any holy water? Oh, no, it's herbs, isn't it? Um, whatever, just touch it. Cool. Stress relief. All right, there's one more battle over here. Let's see what the curio is. Oh, shit, I can't use that. Um, I'm not gonna get a key. Let's just let's just check out the special room and get out of here. It's too bad. I tried a fucking key, man. I brought keys, but I used them both. I feel bad now. I brought two keys. I should have brought three. All right, snuff the torch. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Hope for the best. Oh, there's the key. <laughs> there's the key. There's the key. Well, that's too bad. Because we, we, we would have had three more gems. Would have been 7,500 more dollars, but instead we get crap. All right, whatever. GG. This GG. morbid aspect, this twisted cavernous GG. maze seems almost traversable. We got a lot of crests though, and we got our sniper's ring. So we're finally gonna be able to use, I guess either an arbalest or a grave robber from the very rear and do lots of damage. They'd both be fine. That is a lot of crests. Hey, Mitchell and Belladonk are now level four. And uh, looks like Archimedes has leveled up to level three. Paranormania, obsessed with the paranormal. That's not good. Spotted fever, blight resistance. 
Oh my god, the Black Plague. Are you fucking kidding me? Archimedes, the Black Plague. Really? More accuracy on range skills. I guess the dog attack is a range skill. But holy shit. That is crazy bad. More stress damage if the torch is high. We should probably get rid of that. Because I, I like a high torch most of the time. I don't have like a... I don't have like a dark torch run team. We dug for months, years, an eternity, and we were rewarded with madness. Madness. Well, that was cool. We took two level threes and two level two uh, characters into a level three dungeon, and it really wasn't a problem. Happy with the result there. I'm kind of wishing I had done that last fight, but I was worried about stress levels and I was worried about food running out. All right, well, that, that went pretty well. Master Hellion and Master Vestal. Very nice. First level fours. All right, well, before we do anything else, let's see if we can get rid of uh, the Black Plague, because that's just fucked up. Reduces disease treatment cost by 13%. Um, how much is the cost anyway, Mr. Black Plague? Nine seventy-five, so we could lower it just a tiny bit. Hmm. All right. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. Who was it that got the bad one? Paranormania. That's pretty bad. Spotted fever, blight resistance. Mm. It's not the end of the world. We can cure that at a camp or something. Black black fever, or whatever it's called, is just terrible, though. It's just got so many problems with it. Creeping cough. Uh, what else do we want to get rid of? Maybe that was it. Maybe it was just the obsessed thing. Warren's foe, love interest, thin blooded. Food consumed is kind of a problem. Obsessed with the paranormal. Uh, yeah, we might as well get rid of that. All right. 1575 bucks. They're not cheap to get rid of, but it, at least it's not locked in yet, right? Which is good. Anything where it's obsessed with something is just... Mm -mm, don't want. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for more Dankest Derpest Darkest Dungeon. Have a good day.